Hi, this is Josh Stern. And Michael Walters. With the Millionaire Agent Mindset Tip for you. So I've been selling real estate now for over 15 years and my team and I have sold over 2,000 homes along the Wasatch Front. I'm also a mega agent productivity systems coach for some of the top real estate teams in the world and I am focused on helping you to achieve your own greatness potential. So we're gonna do a 12 series coaching video on the shifting market. Mm -hmm. And uh, these techniques, when applied, will actually cause your business to thrive in a shift or thrive in any market. So take a look at why millionaire agents look forward to the shift. Today we're gonna talk about the ninth tactic millionaire agents use in a shifted market. We've been focusing our last couple of videos on seller strategies to get listings sold. Now we're gonna switch our focus to the buyer side. Today we're gonna to talk about creating urgency and overcoming buyer reluctance. By the way, I'm a huge fan of Jim Rohn and here's a great JR quote. If someone is going down the wrong road, he doesn't need motivation to speed him up, he needs education to turn him around. Great segue, and you know how focused we are here on the Stern team with education. A buyer's market is, is just that. A buyer's, buyer's market, market, right? So be the local economist. If you're not, the over-dramatization of the media will do the job for you. Do you know the history of interest rates, current interest rates, and projections of where they're heading? Do you know the history of affordability and where your local market's affordability stands currently? What goes up must come down, and what goes down never, never stays, stays there. down. So uh, some great resources outside of our local MLS or uh, Utah Association of Realtors niche might be the National Association of Realtors, or NAR, also the Bureau of Economic Analysis, Bureau of Labor Statistics, Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, and the Office of Federal Housing uh, Enterprise Oversight offer great information to help you being the local economist. Good, good, I love that. So let's touch a little bit on motivation. In a shift, buyers can easily lose sight of the primary reasons driving their home purchase. A different neighborhood, could be a better school district, proximity to work or recreation, a different floor plan, more space, and by the way, to have a home. Remember that buyers become hyper-focused on price and price alone. See, our grandparents were less focused on price as it pertains to potential equity and more focused on a place to just call home. Remember this, we're looking for able, ready, and willing buyers, not able, ready, and waiting buyers. Buyers with ability are buyers that qualify for financing, have money for down payment, and their closing costs. Buyers with readiness have personal reasons for buying a home now, like relocation, school changes, uh, recognizes the opportunity, or perhaps they're upsizing. And willing buyers are buyers that are willing to take action. It's more about buyer's mentality and their emotion when it comes to making a choice about when they'll buy. So there are three ways to energize buyer urgency. Number one, become the local economist of choice. Number two, help them tap into their why. And number three, help to address their reluctance. See, don't let should-be buyers cave into their sense that it is better to wait. Unless they're a psychic or a gambler, it is time to buy because it's a buyer's market. Ask them the question, do you think that prices have dropped? And they're gonna answer, yeah. So next thing you do is you ask them, do you think that they'll ever go back up? And again, they're gonna say, yeah, eventually. So then ask this, so aren't you then saying that it's actually okay to be out buying again? Given how you feel, if we found the home today that met all of your needs and your most important wants, is there any reason why you wouldn't make an offer to purchase that home today? We use a lot of data to educate buyers in a buyer's market. Some of the data scenarios are hard to describe in, in this video, but I'm happy to sit down with you one-on-one -on -one and go through different scenarios. But here's an easy one to, to enough to come up with. That is the buyer's trade up opportunity in a down market. So let's suppose that a buyer is first selling a home at $300,000 and they sell it at $280,000 and this is a $20,000 $20, loss. Yeah. But now they purchase a home that was listed for $450,000 and they purchase it at $415,000, which is a $35,000 savings or a net savings of $15,000. Their perceived loss 
and their purchase. Yeah, so what you're saying is essentially that perception shows that they're actually making $15,000 on that Absolutely. deal. Absolutely. That's a great scenario, I love it. See, markets always favor one sector or another. It's a seller's market, it's a good time to be a seller, right? And a risky time to buy. In a buyer's market, only serious sellers sell, so all buyers are in a favorable position. Remember that reluctance is about unwillingness. It'll show up as lingering, lagging, delays, fence-sitting. Reluctance will cause missed opportunities. Creating urgency is a learned skill with a foundation around market knowledge, careful consultation, which is kind of a wants and needs analysis, and then skill at communicating the opportunities of the moment, and assertiveness in challenging their thinking. You remember this, you're the professional, direct the dialogue, don't react. So feel free to visit our website, realestatecareersinutah.com, to sign up for our agent newsletter. You can also sign up for our business planning clinic there or simply book a one-on-one -on -one appointment with our team and dive deeper with a valuable conversation about you and your business and how to thrive in a shifting market.